guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I'm sharing with you three uh, budget-friendly DIYs made out of materials that came from Dollar Store. The Dollar Store that I bought the materials from are Dollar Tree and Dollarama. If you do not know, I'm located in Canada and we have Dollarama where everything is under four, four, four $4 or under. Um, so uh, this is also in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Heidi Sombol. So I will have her link down below. So make sure you check her out. She has a wonderful channel. She does tons of challenges. She does lots of uh, DIYs, crafts, room of the month challenges, some cleaning videos, lots of content uh, for you to watch. So make sure you check her out if you are not following along on her channel. <clears throat> so without further ado, we're going to get started. So the first project, I will be making a winter wreath. This wreath can be, it's great for Christmas, but it can also stay on until through the winter. The, I'm using the loop yarn that came from Dollarama, as well as the nautical rope that I left over and this wrought iron read form that came from Dollar Tree and I have these baller brush trees that came from Dollarama and they were I believe two dollars and fifty cents for each pack I'm not using all of them just a couple from each pack and I am also using the mini a mini uh, bottle brush trees that came from Dollar Tree again I'm only going to use two or three from that so the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to loop the uh, yarn around the wreath and I'm just going to use hot glue to secure it and then at every um, cross I will add a little bit of hot glue just to keep it all in place this just put the rest uh, just secured it more with some hot glue I think that looks really good now I'm gonna cut off a piece of nautical rope and I'm just using this rope for hanging and I'm just doing a loop like, like um, not a very tight loop just because I'm not sure how high I need it to be for where I want to hang it Now I'm ready to add the trees. Um, I pick a couple different colors and then I uh, snip off the bottom plastic ends and uh, curl the little wire that's sticking just up against it so it sits flat and I hot glue them to the wreath. This is a little bit tricky. I do end up propping it up a little bit with just whatever I had on hand uh, so, so that way the trees have a chance to the glue has a chance to settle. finish off with the little trees I'm putting three of them and here it is I think it turned out so cute 
The next project is a little bit easier. I am just going to hot glue this material around the Christmas tree and use some nautical rope um, to accent the tree. Uh, the material I had left over from a different project, the little tree form came from Dollar Tree and nautical rope is still the same rope that I have left over from different projects. So I just uh, cut slits and then wrap the material around the edges. Once I was uh, finished wrapping the nautical rope around the tree, I cut um, little pieces off and in the same size and then I just had glued those pieces to the bottom and then I also outlined the star with the um, nautical rope. Now for the star I take the nautical rope and I um, separate all the threads so that, that it's a lot thinner. Uh, and I wrap that around the star and here it is all finished I think it looks so cute and the last DIY that I will be making is I picked up these uh, vases and these candle holders from Dollar Tree as well as the fall snow fake snow uh, from Dollar Tree the pine cones came from Dollarama they were two dollars and then I have leftover uh, Epsom salt and crystals from the projects before and you will also need hot glue so you want to take the price tags or the stickers off the bottom and then I hot glue one to the to the other uh, with the narrower ends glued together and then uh, the second one I just left alone and then I took the hot glue and I added um, drips to the top of the vase and this doesn't have to be perfect it, it just needs to look like ice icicles pretty much had and icicles aren't perfect and then I sprinkled that hot glue with the salt and crystals and um, to create like a frosted look so I repeated this for the for the other two as well Uh, I was done with the first one I ended up hot gluing it to the candle holders so then that, that way I had three different heights and I did that uh, right after I finished each one just so, so they had time to the glue had time to set but now I got my Once they were done, I added the snow and the pine cones to them. These vases could totally be used after Christmas in the year into the core in January because I think they turned out absolutely stunning. I hope you enjoyed these uh, budget friendly DIYs. Uh, they are uh, for Christmas but uh, the two of them I, could, I would totally use for my winter decor past Christmas as well. So if you are brand new to my channel, I would love for you to press the subscribe button. I post DIY videos, cooking and cleaning 
uh, almost every day during the week and I will be posting every day come December because I will be participating in Vlogmas. I am doing Vlogmas a little bit different. Uh, I am not vlogging per se, but I will be having a video posted every single day of December, probably until shortly after Christmas. So I would love for you to follow along. There's gonna be tons of uh, recipes, some outdoor DIYs for your front porch, and um, baking, uh, some last minute gift DIYs, tons of stuff coming your way. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, I would like to say thank you so much for following along. I'm truly grateful for having you on my, on my channel. So until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.